Hello, this is Mr. T. We have a tutorial on integration and in particular on this time a topic called the generalized power rule for integration. Before we get into the integration we need to review a little bit about derivatives and in particular the chain rule. When we take the derivative of a function to a power where what's inside the parentheses is not just a plain x we have to use the chain rule or the generalized power rule for derivatives. Remember when we take the derivative with the power rule we leave what's inside the parentheses initially unchanged but then the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of what was inside the parentheses. So if we call this u this would be u prime. So on our next one if just to refresh our derivative is shown here. We subtract one from the exponent and then times u prime which would be 4x. Now when we do integration we're starting with the derivative and going back to the original function. So our expression to get back to a power of u must have the u prime in it and as you can see when we go back to the original function that u prime will disappear or will get consumed. Our rule is written here. The expression that we take the integral of is referred to as the integrand and in order for us to use this generalized power rule the integrand needs to include not only the u to the n but it also must include our u prime. Frequently when the problem set up the u prime won't be exactly what we need in the problem and we may have to do some manipulation to transform it into the exact u prime we need. That will become uh, clear when we go into our two examples. So our first example here, so again in general what's in the parentheses with the exponent will be our u. And in our problem we need u and we need u prime. So if we take the derivative of our parentheses we get 5. So we need in here times 5. So let's rewrite the problem. And let's leave space for our u prime. And to be able to integrate this, I need here u prime. Now since that's a constant, and constants can go inside and out of the integral, if I want to put a 5 here so that I haven't changed the value, I need to put the inverse or the reciprocal out here. Because if we rewrote this, 1 5 fifth times 5 is 1, we still have our original problem. Now we have our u to the nth and our u prime, so it matches our uh, formula so now we can just take the integral so we get one-fifth now we take u which is our 5x plus 2 we add 1 to the exponent divide by the new exponent and then add our integration constant and now we just simplify our fraction here to get our final answer So that's our first example of integrating something using integration by substitution. Let's look at a second example. Okay, in this one, before we start integrating, we have to uh, rewrite this to change the uh, square root symbol into a power. Remember, square roots are the same as a one-half power. We need to identify our u. So in this case, our u is what's in the parentheses, x squared minus 1. And the u prime that we need to have or create is now the derivative of this, which is 2x. We have our x, so we need to put in a 2. If I put a 2 in, I have to undo the 2 with its reciprocal. So now we have u prime. We have u to the nth, so now we match our property, our rule. So we get 1 half times x squared minus 1 and now we add 1 to the exponent, so we have 3 halves, divide by the new exponent, plus c. If we simplify this complex fraction, it becomes 1 half times the reciprocal here, so we get 4 thirds. Halves plus c. Again, that's our answer. Now, we can only fix our u's and u primes when they differ by a constant. If this x had not been there, then we could not have solved this problem using this technique. And that will be for a more advanced to topic later this semester. Thank you.